69 floors. 1,356 steps, equaling 788 feet. That's how high firefighters climb in full gear during their annual stair climb. I'm expecting it to be horrible. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not real fun to climb anyway. It does take a physical toll, but oftentimes as firefighters, we say that the climb that we do, even on a hill like this or in a building, it pales in comparison to anybody that's going through any type of cancer treatment. But this year, the stair climb looked a lot different after the annual event in Seattle got postponed due to the coronavirus. Hey guys, I'm doing the day. Just because the climb got postponed doesn't mean that cancer has ended. So firefighters came to Boise for this event. Way bigger turnout than we thought. Tiffany Moyes works as a firefighter in northern Washington. Last year, she was the honoree of the annual stair climb. Yeah, February was three years cancer free. Um, I'm 22 years old at age 19. I was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. So firefighters climb camel's back because they don't want to miss an opportunity to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The fundraising, that's what it's all about because that money goes back to the LLS and that helps pay for people's treatment, their housing, research to help find cures. I mean, that's, that's why we do it. But three times up and down camel's back doesn't come easy. It becomes so much more than just a stair climb. It truly does take a village. And crossing the finish line shows what these heroes can accomplish together in the name of fighting cancer. We want to be with all of our brothers and sister firefighters and we want to be able to go climb something together in solidarity with those firefighters across the country that are climbing. Steve Dent, six on your side.